My objective is Tanzania in this series. Tomorrow morning, I'm setting off. To where? After collecting supplies, I hop on a minibus for Arusha. Entering Tanzania was easy. All it took was a $50 visa. I was in Arusha to await the arrival of Ben, the proud owner of an ancient land cruiser. My comfortable lodge included cheap $25 per night backpacker rooms. The fee included all the amenities and a buffet breakfast. When Ben arrived, we made fast plans and hit the road. Our first goal, the Indian Ocean. Bye, it was a fun five days. We are at a campsite just outside Arusha National Park. Ben's gear included lots of old stuff he had accumulated over the years. Some we gave to charity and some we kept for bribes and gifts. Center of Moshi Town. The first problem is solved. Money. We stopped at intervals for gear money, stuff, and if I need some flip-flops, there's some Michelins, and terrible food. The zebra camp offered an empty riverside campground for the evening. I soon discovered that Ben had a routine, each object in its place and dinner prepared with precision. It's uh, around seven o'clock. Free canoes? Let's pretend we're Canadians, eh? We were told that there are only little crocodiles in this river. Wow, who gets to decide what's little? On the road again. Well, we made it to Tanga. Beautiful looking place. So where are we heading at this stage? Pangani. Serious looking tree. Near the end of the day, we pulled over and tested the waters of the Indian Ocean. Yep, salty. After checking out the Indian Ocean near Tanga, we hit the dusty road south. At the Pangani River, we managed to meet the ferry. collection. Tanzania used to be a German colony, so large enterprising farms are the norm. The beach camp resort provided beach camping. I mean, literally on the beach. Ben made his precision dinner once again. He drives and he does windows. Today we must cross the Sundani National Park. There's only one road south and it goes through the park. And foreigners always pay to enter the parks even if it's unavoidable. Money talks. Just paid uh, $80 just to drive through the park. Since we had paid, we decided to test the four-wheel drive capabilities of the Land Cruiser. What do we do when we run out of trail?
Uh oh, I thought this was a four wheel drive. Well, we are stuck. Damn, I hate that. When in sand, decrease the pressure in the tires. I guess soft tires were the answer. Let's forget about dry riverbeds for today. All right, the end of the riverbed. We exited the park after getting our $80 worth. We exited the Sandani National Park after paying the park road tax. He's bartering. T-shirts, hat, for woodwork. At the tourist seaside town of Bagamayu, we looked for another luxury campsite. Nice, rugged road. Oh wait, this is a campsite. Forgot, it's not so rugged after all. Camping always seemed to cost $10 per person, even in the most luxurious lodges. These roads had an entirely different rush hour traffic than we were used to. Deflate one day, inflate the next. Make up your mind. Our first speed trap stopped doing 20 kilometers an hour. Time to give away some used clothing. Charcoal salesmen are a common sight. Chop down a tree and make charcoal. Late in the day, we reached the campsite in the Unzungwa Mountains National Park. Where are we, Ben? Don't ask me. <laughs> We're in some national park at the end of the world after 50 kilometers dusty road and I'm hungry. It's been a long day. How many kilometers did we cover? 400. The next day I woke up excited at the prospect of my first Tanzanian hike. Uh, oh well. I went to walk. I have to walk, but my trusty mountain bike might make it. We hired a skilled park guide and discussed the hiking options. That is a serious jaw. Ultimately, we decided to visit the world famous Sunji Falls. Actually, three waterfalls for the price of one. Our guide was casual, cool, and informative. Sissi fly. Titsi fly. Ah, okay. Paint. Paint for one bite. Huh. That's a big green snake. Lots of snakes on the trail. Hmm. I wasn't planning on eating that anyway. If I get a stomach ache, I'm supposed to eat the bark? This stuff, cut off, polish it, put it in your apartment in the corner, it looks great. You don't even have to trade any running shoes for it. Ben is an expert on African woodwork. The Colobus monkey never comes down out of the trees to drink water. They spend their entire lives in the trees and never come down. All their requirements are met by the forest, but even in the trees they are not safe. They are the favorite prey of leopards. Elephant. Elephant footprints. That's a big elephant. Elephant come here. See, they cross here. Elephant you see? Oh wow, here. they cross right up the hill. There's a stretch mark of elephant here. Yes. See a big elephant, what do we do? Run? You know elephant has got poor vision. Very good in smells and smelling sense. Let's say it's a group of 15 elephants. So one mother and one young. The rest of the group they'll be moving with the young. Defending the young. Mm -hmm. But the mother of the young will be fight against you. Catch a dozen of those in Thailand? It's a family. <laughs> it's a family. They call it Yongo. 
in Swahili. Yongo. Yongo in Swahili. I hear the waterfalls. Finally. One down and two to go. Two down and one more to go. Like safari ants. Oh, safari ants. They're on a safari. We are not alone. Three's the charm. Rest time. After visiting Sunji Falls in the Unzungwa Mountains National Park, we gave out gifts and then set off to the east. I guess that must be the way out. More charcoal salesmen. I just saw a signpost that said, beware of alligators for the next 27 kilometers. I wonder why they gave this camp that name. It's a big river. I don't want to camp here after all. Let's go. Last night it rained so hard that I opted for a large $12 safari tent. It was now time to try the advertised English breakfast in the lodge. So this is my Tanzanian English breakfast. Oh, yeah. I have soft boiled eggs, hard boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, an omelet. <laughs> I guess I wanted eight eggs. How complicated can it be to put on a set of wipers? They're too long. Just south of Iringa, we pulled into the Isimila Stone Age site of natural pillars. Modeled after Western attractions, it housed educational artifacts, hosted exotic animals, and concluded with a nature walk. As you can tell by the lack of crowds, we must have purchased the VIP tickets. Once back on the road, we were flagged down again by the police for speeding. Cost, this time, a pair of old boots. Late in the day, we opted for a free camp. We're north of the Malawi border. We pulled onto a grass path and pitched our tents as the sun set. This is what the English call air camping. You come in late, you camp, and you're gone in the morning. We start day eight of the road trip in the countryside. Not finding a campsite yesterday, we free camped out of necessity. We didn't realize last night that we had camped on a footpath between a village and their fields. They think it's very funny that we're here. Oh well, crazy white men they thought. After breakfast, we broke camp and made our way back to the main road.
Following some signs, we got off the main road and headed for a natural bridge that was formed by volcanic lava flows. We zigzagged along the fast-moving river until we spotted the lava bridge, and Ben volunteered to cross it to give me perspective. That's a big chunk of lava. Near the border, we stopped for supplies, and then an overland expedition truck pulled up behind us. Groups of strangers spend up to six weeks traveling between Nairobi and Cape Town cooped up in the back of that truck. Our Land Cruiser for two seems way more comfortable now. But before we cross into Malawi, we must first perform the ritual of money exchange. Let the haggling begin. You never win in these deals. The best you can hope for is to get rid of your money and get the next country's money without suffering a major loss. Free Enterprise Rules Another $50 visa and some car paperwork and we are done. There we go. Ciao, ciao. We should be good tourists. We spend money. Okay. And we stay in a nice hotel. I thought this software is our original home ground. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, your pen? Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Welcome to Malawi.